All right, guys, we're here today to uh, kind of iron out a few things that I ran into uh, while using Unify equipment. Uh, one of my good friends, John, got me hooked up on this stuff, and now I'm just totally addicted to it. But the problem I ran into it is, it's like, you know, you should use a Raspberry Pi as your controller. Just load everything there, load the software in, get it going, and uh, use your Raspberry Pi as your Unify controller. So I was like, sweet. But then I spent like four hours trying to figure out after I got it installed, how do I get to the program or get to run it? Now this is this is strictly because of the fact that I'm not a very smart guy. I'm a machinist trying to do like a bunch of IT work. So I figured I'll show you guys um, how I got it to work and supposedly it's the right way through like forms and everything else that I found but sometimes it's easier to walk it through on a video and you guys can see what's happening on the screen. So um, I'm on a Manjaro PC, it's a distribution of Arch and we're gonna go into my Raspberry Pi which is down in the basement so I'm gonna SSH into it um, so if you guys are at your Raspberry Pi you don't need to SSH, uh, SSH into it I'm sorry I'll just open up a terminal alright boom now we're in I know this is not the best way to get into it and SSH is not secure but I'm learning, I'm just playing around with it, and then I'm moving stuff as I as I go to make things a little bit safer. So so here's what I did. So um, after you download the Unify and install it, you want to do super user do uh, system CTL enable unify and enter. Now yours will do something else. It might actually look exactly the same. Sometimes it's like adding a link, whatever. Uh, I think the first time I did this actually looked a little bit different. And then after that, tab up and just change this enable to start. And then boom. So it starts the service and I believe it starts like a web page uh, that runs in the background. So after that's booted, now I'm on, on my Manjaro PC. This is downstairs in the basement running. I can close this out. And Let's see. Let's go to my Firefox. Uh, I have a Unify controller that is on this one. Yes. Yeah, so there we go. So there's the IP address of my Raspberry Pi, and it runs port 8443. You have to put that in there. So make sure that you type HTTPS because if you don't, I'll show you an example. So I just typed in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. Um, if you hit that, it, it does this. I don't even know what that is. It, it, it looks like small waffles, possibly Legos. Some guy stepped on one and then formed I have no clue what's going on there. Um, if you are on your Raspberry Pi, I would change this up front to localhost 8443. But you have to put HTTPS colon slash slash in front of it. Obviously, I don't have that here. I'm running a different address. So... There's the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. And then Shazam. There it is. It boots up. Um, so that's how you get to the Unify controller. That's how you enable it and get it to start. And uh, hopefully this will help somebody that is as ignorant about what they're doing. I'll possibly be a professional. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> starting this out as, as, and not have as many problems as I did. So, uh, well, until next time, guys, I'll make a different video on something else that seems pretty interesting.